Hello and welcome back to another video and um, yet another very windy day here. Um, I've been trying for the last 10 days or more to make a video. It's either lashing down with rain or it's blowing a gale. So um, I've, I've um, been gardening, hence I look a bit untidy today. Um, but a quick little update, I, yeah, I try and, I try, as I've said all along, I'll try and keep the channel moving on and, and, and producing a video. Uh, thank you for the lovely comments as always. Quick little video this week. Um, another question I get asked a lot is, do I ever buy second-hand boots? Yeah, sure, sure I do. And, um, you know, sometimes it's the only way you can get a pair that's no longer made or manufactured and you wanted a pair might be the originally when they were new the cost was astronomical it was like some of the country boots boots some of the debari boots uh, horrendously priced new so yeah i do look around i look on ebay and i look on vinted and one or two other sites as well where people are selling you know i sometimes think people expect too much from a second hand pair of boots because you've got to be careful because Debarry boots do wear out. They do tend to split and crack, you know, um, around the sole to where the um, sole joins onto the upper. I had a real bargain, as you can sometimes, you know, get. Um, I just happened to be in my local town and I don't, never thought of doing this, but I just happened to be passing um, one of the charity shops um, as have sprung up in all the towns in the UK over the last, you know, 10 to 20 years and um, I saw in the window there was a pair of Debarry boots and um, I didn't really recognise what they were um, so I thought well I'll just go in, in, in and have a walk round and um, I saw they'd got them listed as a men's boot so I thought well that's a good start you know and um, so I went in and had a look at them and they were, in fact, um, these very boots here, which are uh, Dubarry Tipperary boots. Uh, you know, a, a, a boot that I'd nev I've never had. And um, the woman who, you know, it was an, an, a very lovely elderly lady in the shop serving. Obviously, they're all volunteers in these charity shops. And she said, the only problem is, she said, they were given, you know, that, that obviously things are donated. And she said, we think they're a man's boot. Um, but she said, we, we can't, you know, um, find any size on them. I said, well, um, I um, soon pointed out to her that the size on the barriers is not often marked on the bottom. Sometimes it's marked in the top there round there but it wasn't on these um, I said well <laughs> there's a little tag here that gives you the EU um, EU size um, she said oh right and I looked at it and it, it was my size well, it was a size I knew that would fit me no problem and um, of course the next question was is um you know what are you asking for them she said well she said obviously she said we don't we don't want to uh, charge too much she said um, we thought about <laughs> We thought about £35. So, you know, I did no more. Um, I bought these Dubarry boots uh, in lovely, I mean, as you can see from the soles, they, ha they haven't had a lot of wear. Um, and I have certainly, they weren't dirty, but I have given them a really, if I, you know, whenever I do buy a second hand boot, I thoroughly clean it inside and out. And um, I have done that, and these have been since I haven't worn them since I did try them on uh, a few times. Um, but I mean, I was delighted. A pair of Debarry boots there um, for £35. So it does pay to look everywhere. And if you don't mind, you know, I think it's a form of recycling. You know, um, you know, I should get some wear out of those, even if I just use them for, you know, walking across the fields or gardening in time or whatever. Um, Strangely enough, I just bought these new um, uh, Mark Todd boots to garden in, whereas I, you know, <laughs> which I, which these are about £75, I, I could have um, really 
you know, um, this was only a sort of um, a week later. Uh, I didn't regret buying these because I like these boots and that they're very much like the togi boots that I used to garden in. But I thought, well, blow me, you know, I need to really bought these, to be honest. I could have um, just used these straight away for gardening for £35. So, yeah, sure, I do buy second-hand boots. And, um, you know, um, I like to look around and see what's available. Um, any older boots, um, you know, that... Um, and um, you sometimes get, as I say, you sometimes strike lucky. It's just being at the right place at the right time. So, yeah, you know, um, I was delighted with those because it's a, a boot I've never had. And I quite like the design of them and um, a little bit different to the Galway or the Wexford um, de Barry boots that I've had. And I've also got a pair of um, uh, Claire de Barry boots, which I haven't looked at or reviewed yet. And that is to come. Um, um, but um, yeah, I was delighted. So yes, the answer to that is yes. I, I always look at what's available, you know, on the online auctions or online sites like Vinted where people are selling things. I've looked on the Facebook marketplace as well. And um, unfortunately, as I say, with the higher end type of country boots like that, I do find people are asking silly prices you know they're trying to get which we yeah, i can understand people are trying to get as much as they can for those boots um but whether a second hand pair of barry boots is worth very nearly what you paid for it i don't think it is um, to be absolutely honest so i should certainly be looking <laughs> in our local charity shops again um for sure um as that's just with something like that it's been at the right place at the right time but um, just a little quick video there of, of what I've been um, buying. Um, sadly, I'm, I'm a bit, little bit disappointed. Um, as you know, I like the brand ASOS and um, I've looked on their site, this, uh, what I call this winter season, and there's no really, um, they're, they're, they're the fashion at the moment seems these very outlandish, chunky, great, boots um, which you know you've got one pair and that's quite enough in the fashion boot lines for me um, I don't want endless pairs of chunky um, even Chelsea boots or even taller boots and um, in the men's um, line of boots on ASOS there is um, you know nothing that really grabs my fancy at the moment I hope they might have a you know a few more pairs of taller boots we would like a not i think it would be lovely to have a nice elegant pair of men's you know black or brown um almost like fashion riding boots a bit like the um ones uh, i bought last year from uh, china which I, I have worn a couple of times um and i really like those but there's nothing you know asos obviously don't think they would sell enough of them there's not you know i suppose that site is very much designed for the younger market and the younger market seems to want these chunky chunky boot things at the moment which really doesn't um, grab me that much but um, hopefully that might change. Um, I have been also looking at the uh, Chinese um, site of Xi'an. Uh, I'm told that's how you pronounce it uh, and um, S-H-E-I-N, Xi'an and um, they have one or two pairs of boots that I think, you know, very reasonably priced that I think I'm going to buy and we'll have a look at those and see what the quality's like and what they look like and how long they take to get to me. Um, so that will be up and coming in another video that will. I, I've, um, I've ordered those, but obviously from China, I think they give you a, a delivery date of sometime in December. So, um, but anyway, we've got lots more boots to look at before then, hopefully. And hopefully the weather will set, settle down a bit more um, between then and now. So just a quick little update video to let you know I'm still here. And thanking you so kindly for your comments and your sub, uh, for subscribing. It's great we've got some new subscribers. Thank you to everybody. Really do appreciate it. Um, you know, we love everybody. This site is solely about wearing boots and enjoying boots. And what boots are out there for, for us guys to do that in. And that's solely all it is. Um, and um, as always, I've rambled on quite enough. I shall get back to setting my plants and bulbs out now. So thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your wonderful comments. I say that does, does mean so much. Do please keep them coming. You know, and if you don't agree with something, I don't mind that. You know, say, well, that was rubbish or that was, you know, 
doesn't doesn't worry me that doesn't and as always thanks for watching please do ca take care and we'll be back very soon with some more beautiful boots and um, until that point in time my best wishes bye for now <laughs>